Today we are going to be going over the 15 different types of axolotl colors that you may see. Morse in the amphibian hobby refer to selectively bred traits, such as specific colors or appearances. These variations can occur naturally or be achieved through laboratory interventions. Amphibians have various types of cells called chromatophores, responsible for producing pigments. The three types are as follows, melanophores, xanthophores, and iridophores. Melanophores are specialized cells that contain melanin or other less common black pigments. The presence of these pigments gives amphibians a dark skin coloration, contributing to their overall dark appearance. Xanthophores are cells that contain carotenoids, which produce a yellow coloration. Carotenoids are pigments in the red, yellow, or orange spectrum, absorbed by cells from the diet. Iridophores are cells that create a thin layer of reflective crystal-like substances within the skin. Alterations in the structure of these substances can generate camouflage or iridescence in various reptiles and amphibians. At number 1 we have the leucistic axolotl. Leucistic axolotls exhibit a captivating appearance, characterized by a translucent white body adorned with shimmering gold flecks, complemented by red or pink gills and dark brown or black eyes. While these individuals are exceedingly uncommon in the wild due to their visibility to predators, they have become one of the most popular and visually striking morphs in captivity. This species looks very similar to albinos, but albinos have red eyes. At number 2 we have the golden albino axolotl. Golden albinos display a spectrum of colors, ranging from nearly pure white to peach, yellow, and vibrant orange gold. Their bodies feature reflective spots and speckles, accompanied by eyes in shades of white, yellow, or pink. Additionally, their gills exhibit a peachy hue with a lighter yellow tint. At number 3, we have the wild-type axolotl. Wild-type axolotls display a dark grayish-green hue adorned with mottling in black and olive shades. Their bodies also feature speckles of gold, contributed by iridophores, while their bellies exhibit a pale coloration. These natural colors and patterns closely resemble those observed in axolotl species found in the wild. At number 4, we have the piebald axolotl. Piebald axolotls exhibit a striking appearance, featuring a white body accompanied by red gills and black eyes. Their face and back display symmetrical patches in dark green, gray, or black. Occasionally, these markings may extend to the sides and legs, although this occurrence is rare. Typically, the pattern is concentrated on the upper half of the body. The piebald gene, which contributes to this unique pattern, is heritable but exceedingly rare. Notably, most breeders specializing in piebald axolotls are located in New Zealand. Over time, the pattern darkens, potentially transforming the axolotl into a black and white salamander. At number 5, we have the mosaic axolotl. Mosaic axolotls display a captivating mosaic pattern characterized by a combination of black, white, and golden flecks on their bodies. Additionally, their gills can exhibit stripes in shades of red and purple, while their eyes showcase a mesmerizing array of colors. Mosaics typically result from breeding between melanistic and albino parents, combining the genetic traits of both. At number 6, we have the copper axolotl. Copper-colored axolotls possess a light gray body adorned with copper-colored freckles, accompanied by gray irises. Their gills display a grayish-red hue, while their bellies appear lighter in color. Depending on the individual, some copper axolotls may exhibit a caramel shade, while others lean towards a nearly pink hue. At number 7, we have the lavender axolotl. Lavender axolotls display a captivating light, silvery-purple hue accompanied by grayish-red gills and black eyes. Their bodies are adorned with distinctive gray spots, earning them the name Silver Dalmatian. While certain lavender species may transition to a gray or green color as they mature, most individuals retain their purple hue. Additionally, lavender melanoid hybrids are selectively bred, exhibiting a darker purple color without spots. However, it is important to note that this particular color combination is exceptionally rare. At number 8, we have the black melanoid axolotl. The recessive mutation giving rise to black melanoids was initially discovered in a laboratory in 1961 and has since become relatively common. Unlike albinos, black melanoids exhibit an abundance of melanophores and fewer iridophores. These axolotls can display a wide range of colors, ranging from dark green to completely black, accompanied by dark purple gills. 
In addition, most melanoids have a paler gray or purple belly. While some individuals may resemble dark wild-type axolotls, they lack the characteristic shining golden iris observed in their wild counterparts. At number 9 we have the white albino axolotl. White albinos exhibit a pristine white coloration accompanied by red gill filaments, pink or white eyes, and golden flecks on the gill stalks. In their early stages, young white albinos may even appear almost translucent, particularly on their bellies. As they mature, the iridophores on their gills deepen in color, taking on a richer red shade, while the remainder of their body maintains its pure white hue. At number 10 we have the speckled leucistic axolotl. Speckled leucistic axolotls belong to the leucistic mutation category. They display dark green, brown, or black speckles on their heads, tails, and back. Similar to typical leucistic morphs, their base color is white, but the extent of speckling is less pronounced compared to piebald or mosaic morphs. Interestingly, this axolotl initially appears identical to a leucistic specimen but develops speckling as it matures. As they grow, their pigment cells also mature, leading to changes in their coloration and freckle pattern. At number 11 we have the Chimera axolotl. The Chimera axolotl is an exceptionally rare phenomenon, sparking debates regarding its classification as a true morph. Chimeras exhibit a distinct characteristic where one side of their body displays one morph, while the other side showcases a different morph. This division is precisely down the middle, separating the axolotl into left and right halves. The limited number of chimeras that have hatched demonstrate a remarkable combination of being half albino and half wild type in their appearance. At number 12 we have the heavily marked melanoid axolotl. Heavily marked melanoids represent a distinct variation within the black melanoid morph. They share the characteristic black and purplish gray spots observed in typical black melanoids, but they also feature additional light green and yellow patches. This particular morph remains shrouded in mystery, as only a few sightings have been recorded, leaving limited knowledge about its characteristics. At number 13 we have the green fluorescent protein axolotl. At first glance, green fluorescent protein GFP, axolotls may appear similar to other morphs. However, when exposed to UV light, they exhibit a striking and vibrant fluorescent green glow. This unique trait remains invisible under normal lighting conditions but becomes unmistakable in the presence of UV light. Axolotls with lighter skin, such as albino or leucistic individuals, tend to emit a more intense and brighter fluorescence. At number 14 we have the Firefly Axolotl. Firefly axolotls are a morph intentionally created by Lloyd Stroll through the process of embryonic grafting. Initially employed for studying limb regeneration, the method's application in creating pets has sparked controversy. Firefly axolotls are predominantly darkly colored wild-type axolotls, but they possess a distinctive trait, their tails contain green fluorescent protein albino tissue. These axolotls earned the moniker fireflies due to their resemblance to the bioluminescent insects. When exposed to a black light, only a specific part of their body, typically the tail, will emit a vibrant green glow akin to that of a firefly. At number 15, we have the Enigma axolotl. The Enigma morph showcases a dark gray body with a contrasting white belly and toes. Its gills exhibit a pale red coloration, while its eyes shimmer in a golden hue. The Enigma axolotl is adorned with glossy golden patches that can appear green when viewed from specific angles. In the realm of axolotl morphs, a diverse array of captivating and unique traits emerges through selective breeding and natural variations. From the striking colors and patterns of leucistic, melanoid, and piebald morphs to the mesmerizing fluorescence of GFP and the elusive chimeras, axolotls offer a fascinating spectrum of visual marvels. These morphs, each with their distinct characteristics, continue to captivate enthusiasts and researchers alike, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of amphibian genetics and beauty. As the field of axolotl breeding and appreciation evolves, new discoveries await, promising even more astonishing variations and marvels in these remarkable creatures. With that being said, it's time to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you stayed to the end, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we post. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.